both of these characters can force pretty rough juggle states with Ops, as you highlighted, up till just leads you into the danger zone. What's waiting for you in the danger zone? Uh, we don't know yet. But it's not a very fun place to be. And as for Kobold, if they do manage to find stage control, there's not going to be a lot of safe spaces to extend any type of reversal or find any type of way to return to neutral, especially as we start off the set on Julesville. Oh! And we started off with a real quick kill! <laughs> I mean, reactions aside, that was just a prime spot from Niceness looking to extend off this platform. And Absa, while most known for her more zoning capabilities with things like Cloud and f and all of that good stuff, no shortage of combos and no shortage of kill potential because there is, they're going off trying to chase down Cobalt and they have nowhere to go. That second stock was just outright a zero to death, too. Just completely untouched, but Cobalt getting their opportunity to uh, turn the tides here. I mean, Overheat live and not able to find the kill off of it. They're still able to completely harass, though. Between missiles and clouds, it's a bit uh, difficult for Opsa to find those quicker reversals. But Niceness has been playing across the plat so well and just making this an utter nightmare for Cobalt to navigate. I mean, I know I highlighted Eliana's potential in, in Punish game, but Niceness is there telling me to not sleep on Absence changes. That is a dead snake. His <laughs> Cobalt has to reel back in his chair, reel back in their chair a little bit because that. Yeah, there's a couple great, nice head bobs over from Niceness. That's a lot to absorb all at once. Yeah, no, Niceness definitely showing us why they have that as their tag. That whole game one was just clip after clip after clip. And Shout like, out to production for the nice clips. While Eliana is able to survive more instances uh, a bit more reliably due to the weight, it's it's a whole other issue when you have to drop your mech and then you still get followed and still get killed off. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Temperamental to say the least, as I like this stage pick from Cobalt. Not only is it extremely neutral, where you were, in my opinion, Jules was a very absolute favorite stage. Having a layout like this helps you out much more because you can hide underneath some of these platforms in terms of controlling stage. And while Niceness will have a lot of potential for stage control and a lot of potential for combos, these cloud combos are going insane from Niceness. Like, the cloud is just proving to be overbearing for Cobalt as they try to navigate, like, deep off stage. It's just a super reliable projectile. Just as much as missiles are able to follow their targets accordingly and continuously harass, like, the cloud is equally dangerous. Cobalt finally putting something on the board here. And very aggressive return to stage, and it's all but required to keep that stock, but they're not going to be able to do it. Yeah, just running out of flight at the worst possible time. Had to up these super early, and Cobalt, they, they met the demise for that. The clock management is absolutely crucial for Eliana in all phases of the game. Going for the up tilt, a little ill advised, going to be losing out on that stage control. And just because of that, it was the only opening that Niceness needed to convert this into a stock and yet another game. Just the amount of DI traps that are coming out from Niceness are absolutely absurd. Look at look at this string right here. It is well, that one's just nice. <laughs> that one's just niceness. But the <laughs> amount of the uh, the coverage that came out from like four there, four there, and leaning into hey, are you DIing out? I'll chase you down with another four. I'll chase you down. We're already down done. Or back here, but uh, going out there has been. Like, 100% kill rate through Niceness thus far in all of these sets, and stage pick doesn't even seem to help out, regardless for Cobalt, who's been playing well on stage, but when they have found that they have gotten hit, Niceness is covering everything. That first stock was done in a matter of 12 seconds. Niceness already on the hunt to make it happen again. The way that they have been so aggressive off stage is just maddening because Cobalt doesn't have any opportunity to establish a sense of stage control with any of the plethora of tools that's available with Eliana's kit. And already down. One stock left in less than a minute. And, uh, and it's gone. There it goes. Oh! Uh, oh, man. I mean, the game, the game exited quicker, just as quick as Cobalt did. And 
Yo, yo, Ripple laptop. Please, please oh, be careful no. with that. That technology's not cheap. Oh. No, we got it in the replay, <laughs> Helper, no! <laughs> Are we gonna, we're getting the frame. Like, how oh, quick? no! <laughs> <laughs> that game three was in 58 seconds. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, the signal. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> when you're that nice, sometimes you're Some may argue too nice. Some <laughs> too nice for their own good after that one. Oh. I, honestly, I can't even, like, fault Cobalt for having that visceral of a reaction. Because that whole set was just peak performance from niceness. But that game three... That was an ass clapping. Yeah. That one was rough, Not dude. Even close. It, <laughs> and it started off so. It started off well for niceness, where they would find a hit and extend like throughout. But finally, the hit took more and more time. Game one and two. Game three, everything was found. Like each stock was roughly twelve to fifteen seconds.